Hello and welcome to another um, Hints and Tips video. So I'm going to run through how to reset your internet browsers. Um, reason being from infection or say there's a plugin that's causing a problem and your internet browser keeps you know, crashing or not responding. Um, there are some really good uh, little hints um, on what you can do to, to fix that. So um, let's start off by looking at Internet Explorer. So here's Internet Explorer here. So obviously if it's got to a stage where you literally can't open Internet Explorer um, there are other things that you can do but let's just say you can open Internet Explorer but it's just a little bit buggy and um, there's you know there's like lots and lots of toolbars to save like the majority of the top of your uh, of your web browser maybe just you know about that much it's just like covered in toolbars that's quite an indication of you know just needs a really good tidy up. So um, as you can see in uh, this browser, uh, when I've opened Internet Explorer, we've got no menu options up here. Um, sometimes when Internet Explorer um, updates itself, it kind of does this as default. It doesn't show you the menu where you get the file and tools and all that kind of stuff at the top. So in this area here, this little blank area here, you can right click and say um, menu bar and there you go you've got all the menu menu options up here if you right click in this area again and say favorites bar then you can um, attach some of your favorites um, which I don't really have any here but just to give you an idea um, the say for instance we wanted say well, NHS choices um, we pop this up here uh, there you go you've you've got that there um, say for instance we went to Google um, and we wanted Google to be uh, in these options here. You can actually, yeah, you can. You can grab that icon there because this, remember, is um, the latest version of Internet Explorer. And you can drag and drop the link there. There we go. Uh, you can obviously do that for lots of other websites as well. But if you didn't want that there, just right click, get rid of the favorites bar, and you've just got the, the bits there. So how would you reset Internet Explorer? Well, if you go to Tools and then you go to Internet Options, incidentally, you can find Internet Options if you go to the Start menu and then where it says Control Panel, uh, you can find it within those options as well, but let's not overcomplicate it for the moment. So Internet Options, go to the Advanced tab. You see where it said Restore Advanced Settings? That kind of restores everything that's in here. In that. Anyway, so you can restore that and you can also restore by pressing the reset button here. Uh, this part here, it shows you all the things that it will re reset. This one says delete personal settings. Well, it's personal settings. It's not any like, it won't get rid of your, um, your favorites or anything like that. It will disable the... Um, uh, the add-ons and things like that and it will get rid of any custom, there you go, active X filtering, I don't know why I couldn't remember that, so active X filtering is, is something, so you could click that, try resetting it without clicking this first because you may find that there's something within here that is causing your browser to just like have a bit of niggly problems. If you do that and you still can't sort out Internet Explorer then go for that one there, that option, it's just, you know, just do things in a, in a specific order. So I cancel that. Um, actually, no, I can just reset it for you just so you know what it looks like. There we go. It's done it so quickly because this is quite a fresh install, so um, it's not really like uh, got much going on in it. But you can see it ticks all the ones. Sometimes your antivirus software might try and stop you from doing this because it's like, oh, is it legitimately trying to change settings? Well, you know you are, so you just tell the antivirus software that you are and just say close. Okay, then you'll have to obviously restart the browser in order for everything to take effect, and you'll see that. Uh, oh, look, see how the menu bar goes because it does it as default. Just say use recommended security settings, say OK. I know that, and there we go. Meet your new browser. No, it's not that new, but there we go. So, right click, menu bar, make it maximized like that. If you press F11, it goes absolute full screen. Can you see that? F11 again, and it goes slightly less full screen. Okay, so that's Internet Explorer. Now let's look at Firefox. So how would you reset Firefox if you're having a few little niggly problems in there? Well, again, Firefox is the same as Internet Explorer. It defaults to not having those menu options so that you kind of like makes everything full screen. So you can right click and say menu bar exactly the same as you would with um, Internet Explorer. Sorry, I just double click there. Uh, and you can go to, uh, to reset. You actually go help and then you go to yeah, troubleshooting information. And then here it is, reset Firefox. 
Now, with Reset Firefox, yeah, uh, Fi Firefox will try to preserve your browsing history and bookmarks, your saved passwords, saved uh, form history and cookies. So it sh you, you should be okay, you know, if, uh, if this is not causing you any issues, then resetting Firefox, there we go, and say finish should get rid of any any issues and as you can see Firefox kindly creates a folder called old Firefox data now you know depends how far down the rabbit hole you want to go but um, all of this can help you with uh, restoring just individual parts of um, Firefox if you want if you didn't want to lose anything so let's go to Google oh yeah no let's go to Google that's better um, and there we go, you can see again that you would have to go back and select the menu bar if you wanted to put any anything in there like that. Okay, so let's now talk about Chrome. Let's get rid of that. Let's talk about Chrome. So how do you reset Chrome? Well, Chrome is slightly different. Um, I'm sure there is a setting. Uh, sorry, I forgot to say, go into the top corner to get the, um, the menu tabs and go into settings. Um, now with Chrome, I found that the best way to kind of um, get rid of any issues with malware is to go to manage search engines, make sure that Google is selected, and I mean these these are pretty safe, but they're just not the best. I've I personal opinion obviously, but I think Google is the best um, at, uh, as a search engine, and I think a lot of a uh, couple of my other colleagues think that Bing is kind of getting close to being as good as Google, but nah, Google's my my preferred choice um, and also in the this bit here if you if it's selected and then it's got like a URL there then you know that that and then it's you know one like called like search dot something dot com um, then you know that that's kind of like a a problem there with your with malware so you would just select that and then you would put whatever you want in here to so say it was Google or get rid of whatever's in there um, oh, incidentally, actually, manage search engines down here. Sometimes you can get a whole, whole, long, long list of other like browser hijacker type search engines, and you can get some legit ones, ones as well. But it's just, it's just not needed. So just delete anything that's in there. Um, so how would you reset Chrome if it was really causing you a lot of issues? Well, one way that I found, which actually is a little bit more tricky, um, you would have to go to. Uh, your computer you would have to go to your program settings so oh, here we go wow, this is asking for there you go SAS so yes, tutorials and then you'd have to go to bar, 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 app data see this is a bit of a long-winded one isn't it and then you would find Google and you'll find Chrome user data and here it is default you would rename that folder dot old now why would you do that do you think well Every program has to refer to files and folders and it and, uh, refers to bits. So if we've reset the default folder to being default.old, then when the program reopens, don't ask again, it has to create a new default folder. There you go, it's created new. So if there were any infections, it would be locked in this folder. Um, your bookmarks are always are there as well, so um, things like that. You don't have to worry about having to, you. You won't that they'll be stuck in there, so you'll have to like transfer them over. I mean, if you can, if you can um, go into your browser, go to bookmarks, and actually uh, export your bookmarks. So go to bookmark manager. Go to export bookmarks. Then. Um, then you can then restore them after you've renamed the .old folder. Um, but that's another way to uh, reset Chrome. So uh, I know this video was quite quick and fast, but you can always like uh, you know rewind and just pause and go through step by step if you need to. But that's three browsers and three different ways to uh, to reset them.